Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I have a very unusual thing that I'm going to tear apart for you guys. This is a transducer power supply made by Resonance Technology Incorporated. This guy is extremely expensive, I can imagine, because it's used in MRI rooms. And this powers a virtual reality headset that is in the room. Now, I can only fathom how much this guy costs. Because it apparently on the side has LED indicators for plus 18, negative 18, plus 9, and plus 7.5 volts. That is a lot of different voltages. And because it's going to go into an MRI room, it's also got a redundant ground. It is quite the power supply, guys. And I'm going to tear it apart for you because I think that this guy has a dirty little secret. Now this guy here, I was told to change it out. And somebody had already purchased a replacement power supply before they consulted me, okay? Not only does this guy have indicator lights, but the system was not behaving the way it should be in the room with the PC. So why would I even go to the power supply for the glasses if the PC doesn't talk to the unit that, you know, this powers? I, it doesn't, it's really kind of difficult to explain like that, but... Basically, the PC was not talking to this module that was in the room. This powers the glasses. Why would I look at this when it's clearly all lit up? This worked absolutely fine. But anyway, guys, let's take a look at what little secrets it has. It's a very nice build quality, except for like the feet sticking out a little bit. But I can't really fault them on that because, I mean, it's a very solid unit. And it probably should be because this sits in the MRI back room. It does not sit in with the MRI, and they're very adamant about that. You can see by the decals. I like how they have the pinout. Right here on this connector, you can see the pinout. That's very cool. Helps you with troubleshooting. That's amazing. The company uh, did a really good job there. I wish I knew how much this thing costs. It's going to be probably, if, if it was my estimate, it'd probably be between $800 and $2,000 for this guy. It might be more because it goes to an MRI system. But this is a virtual reality headset that they put on children. So, you know, you MRI scans aren't the fastest things in the world. So you put a VR headset on children, you watch a movie or something in there. And uh, this is just one piece of the puzzle. Now the whole system, I, I can imagine, costs probably over $10,000 for the whole video system. But this is just one piece of it. So uh, the case itself... It looks like it's magnesium. That's what it looks like. So, very durable. Alright, so it's got this little flap. And take a look at the inside of this guy. So, what you have, you have one regular uh, power supply. Let's see if I can get it in frame. You can see I've got one regular. This is probably the, what, 7.5 volt power supply, this little guy. And the 18 volt power supply is probably the largest one here. It's just like a regular laptop power supply. You can see it's got the LED indicator showing whether or not it's got power. And this one here is probably what the nine volt power supply. Yeah, I bet you that one's the nine volt power supply. So it's just, oh, no, there's four. Look at that, there's one hidden up and under. Can I, can I break it open? Oh, of course they used uh, silicone, you know, one of my favorite materials but wow it is such a pain to get out and mind you guys this power supply is good so I don't want to break it but at the same time it's never going to get used again all right <laughs> oh my goodness all right, guys, remember, your screwdrivers are not pry tools, right? That's what they teach us. Yeah, right. All right, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, so there are some other interesting things here. You can see that they soldered uh, directly to the IEC. They, they soldered the wires straight in, and here they shrink tube them together. I mean, that's fine because it's all, it's all fastened down. They put silicone everywhere. They put double-sided tape on this. So basically, if you had a problem inside this power supply, you could 
theoretically just you know remove all this uh, schmoo all the silicone and replace the power supply and put it back together and you'd be just fine if you're missing one of your powers no problem so yep there's some regular switch mode power supplies in the bottom um, looks like two identical ones so that would probably be uh, hell I don't know but then up in the top way up and in here uh, I wish I had a flashlight they actually manufactured their own breakout board so your DC lines come into this breakout board which is where your port is and also your DC common ground and your other power lines go straight up to the regular IEC connector you see them right there really kind of simple guys so if anything really goes bad with this all you gotta do is get your heat gun out you know heat them up heat up the silicone pry them out replace your power supply with you know another one and put it back together that's very cool you never know what's inside medical equipment man you never know and I don't even know if we could call this medical equipment because this is for a video system in the MRI room it's it's not for the MRI itself here we go and we put it back together I like the design. I like simplicity. Um, I like the fact that it's technically serviceable. I do like that. But they do sell this as um, a separate part. And I, like I said, I can only imagine how expensive it is. It's probably very expensive. These guys. Anything to do with MRI is crazy expensive. Goes back together quite nicely though. There you go. That's the transducer power supply made by Resonance Technology. It's www.mrivideo.com. They actually have a kind of a nice headset for the MRI. But uh, it is what it is. This is the power supply. I honestly don't think I would ever buy another one. I think I would just repair the one that I have. Let me know what you guys think down below. I start to see in these one-off type power supplies in and around hospitals. And come to think of it, the more you know about power supplies, the more repairable they really are. Thanks for watching, guys.